you get to know each of your each of your residents get to know what music each of them like um and th that will touch them on a per e each one on a personal level um there's no point playing tom's favorite song to sean there there is one resident he doesn't doesn't necessarily interact as much but if you play an irish soundtrack something flips inside him and he starts singing along and he gets emotional he starts smiling he laughs you just see him light up somebody that have no, doesn't doesn't speak to anybody doesn't talk at all stood up and started dancing and started talking about the past you know and when the music was finished went back sat down again so that was how we knew that okay this definitely has reminded this patient of something that was amazing experience their eyes pupils get bigger uh, the eyebrow raised they might um, hesitate first but then start joining in and they will sing the whole song all the way through. They're laughing, you know, cheek to cheek. The little finger wiggle, you know, from residents that wouldn't initially want to move or interact. It's reassuring to know that I'm doing the right thing and I'm seeing physical progress. Especially if the resident doesn't normally do them kind of things. It, you see a different light to the character, a different side that you wouldn't see without the music. When you have a dementia, it doesn't mean you can stop living your life. You can still live your life fullest. So when I see these people laughing, enjoying, you know, moving their heads and clapping and, you know, even a tapping with songs, that's all worth this. If that song can make someone happy, whether they know it, whether they know why or not, you're making them happy. And that's that's important.